Instead of playing catch up, the emphasis should be on engaging students and building self-esteem and confidence. We can do this by respecting the traditional, culturally sensitive ways of teaching our children, using their natural visual spatial learning style linked with carefully chosen, high powered 21st century technologies. The videos seen here are examples of strength-based visual spatial projects which give students voice. Digital storytelling can be a powerful tool. It forges strong connections for kids with their families, their ancestors, and their heritage. And it also gives them first-hand experience with a technology that teaches project design, scripting, editing, and producing a finished product. Well, we had our rough times, but we're still here. <laughs> You proud to be Native American? Oh yes. Oh, I think about that. I'm so thankful. You do something, do it right the first time. Mm -hmm. Then you have to do it over. So I went by that. And I got by. <laughs> How old were you when you learned how to speak English? I learned to talk English. I might have been about six years old. Not right away though, I just had a hard time learning it. Mm -hmm. And the first letter, first word I learned was chair. I don't know why, but mm -hmm. chair was the first word I learned. I was so happy, I told my sister, I can talk English. Mm -hmm. She said, what'd you learn? She said, I said, chair. Mm -hmm. It took, and um, in boarding school, they won't let you talk your language. Mm -hmm. So I really had to get down to business and learn English. because I didn't know nothing when I went to school. I mean, when I went, they left me at the school, I didn't know no English at all. It was kind of hard, but then I was thankful that I had two sisters there mm -hmm. that helped me. So, so I went, I went they dropped me off at school when I was six years old and didn't know English at all. <laughs> <laughs>